100,000 baby redfish added today to the St. Johns River are restocking earlier today to combat the declining population. Atia Collins was there. She was watching as the fish made their way into the water, and she's on your side tonight with how this is helping the environment and the economy on our first coast. Anybody know what kind of fish we're releasing today? One by one, these redfish will repopulate a declining population. My little boy and I love the fish here. Fish that Patrick Morse and other anglers like him rely on to feed their families. It's a huge piece of the economy from hotels, restaurants, actual guides that are able to benefit from the visitors. And then of course, the locals want to enjoy good fishing too. Release the East is a restocking initiative that was started by the Coastal Conservation Association of Florida. The 100,000th redfish was released at this event, marking the end of phase one. We've got habitat um, degradation. We've got loss of, um, of their habitat. We've got uh, water quality issues. And so we're doing stuff to combat all of that. Restocking these redfish not only helps the environment here in the intercoastal waterway, but it also gives back to recreational fishermen and the economy here along the St. John's River. I'm super stoked. I mean, it's going to take a little while for these little guys to uh, grow up to be big enough for us to actually be able to take them home. But uh, I'm excited that the future is bright and um, we should have great fishing here for, for years to come. The Coastal Conservation Association also restocks the waterways with aquatic plants and filter feeders like clams in an effort to protect the marine environment along the first coast. Reporting in St. Augustine, Atia Collins, First Coast News on your side.